Okay. Time to see if this technology will cooperate with me. So you may see some scuff going on. And you may see some stuff going on. Either way, I'm streaming. It's probably going to be a short one because I got some personal responsibilities that I need to take care of. But let's see if I push this button. Yeah, okay. That brings us to there. So far, so good. Yes, I want to thank you all for coming in tonight, for joining me as I continue my journey through Xenogears. Oh, I feel like I, I haven't really gotten too much of uh i don't know what's what's the word a headlong whatever i i, I feel like i haven't really been able to play the game as much at least mostly when i play it's on stream i just i don't i i don't want to deprive my viewers you all of you out there of any experiences that I may end up uh, happening to get into with the game. But uh, yeah, tonight we're basically just going to be doing a doop and gun. Like I said, it's going to be a short stream. I'm also having to deal with uh, technology issues because uh, I ended up getting the stream deck and it is not behaving in the way that it should. And it's really annoying. I don't know what the deal is like every time I get it set up and it works fine and then I go to sleep and I wake up the next morning I check it and try to work around with it in my you know in OBS and suddenly uh, the things that were there are just they're they're either not working or they're just gone and apparently this is a widespread issue and uh I don't know. I was I was told so many good things about uh, Elgato products. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's, uh, may, maybe maybe it's kind of me harping on Elgato, but I mean, so far this uh, the capture card has been working excellently. Just any any technical issues that I may have run into, um, I've managed to be able to solve myself, which you know. Hey, uh, good thing, and I've I've preserved that information and uh, been able to share it with uh, a couple people that have been having issues with the uh, capture card. But I don't think that's necessarily uh, due to the uh, Elgato capture card itself, but more just capture cards in general, especially when dealing with uh, with older technology, trying to you know process audio over into new stuff but for the most part um yeah these these things seem to be working because i can i needed my microphone there so that works and yeah this should also if i push this yeah that meets the music you're not hearing it, and it brings it back up so and my scene changes are working so that's good so I'm gonna go ahead and what? Let's see if we push this button, it should bring us into the game. But I also have to reconfigure my capture card to bring back up the game window. So yes, we're continuing in Xeno Gears. Go ahead and yeah, okay. I hit that. That pauses the music. Yo, what's up, pancake? What's going on, bro? I can give you a shout out while you're here. Yeah, I was just uh, I was just watching Pancake uh, play some Resident Evil 2 yesterday. Well, I guess if you want to call it last night. At this point, I I don't even know what the concept of time is. But uh, yeah, we were just chilling and you know, kind of shooting the breeze around and whatnot. Uh, just having some fun with his playthrough of Resident Evil 2 and well. If you haven't yet, I would recommend go to, uh, you know, right now, it's in the chat. Let me, don't, let me use the, the new command to, because, uh, because that works. Uh, 
there we go if you're in your phone if you're in the chat and you're not following pancake sona well i definitely recommend visiting him as channel if you see the button up there you're not following yet go ahead and click that little heart there so you can go and follow him and check him out i know he i know he primarily streams uh overwatch but like i said we were chilling just watching watch on them just watch him play some resident evil 2 last night and just having a lot of fun it's like it's such it's, it's such a great time and it's, he's absolutely hilarious so if you're into having a good time go ahead and check him out give him a follow and i'm sure he'd appreciate that yo seriously thank no you know you're awesome man you're awesome thanks for stopping by uh, let's see uh if i push the button yeah okay yeah still doing all this technology well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's it's 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 always such a joy when you know people people tell me that they appreciate me and my content and being around. And I know I, I don't necessarily hear it all the time. I don't necessarily need to hear it all the time either. It's just I do appreciate it when it's said though. Don't get me wrong. Okay, and Okay, yeah, there we go. We do got some audio going. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's such an awesome sound that they got there. All right, so last we left off, um, we just got to that desert town. Let's see. Uh, if I push this button, yeah, that beats the game audio. Good. Okay. Okay, so, so far, technology is working as it should, so that's good. There's just some kinks that I'm going to have to work out because, uh, for whatever reason, uh, OBS and the uh, default workings for uh, Spotify, they don't seem to play well together. It's like every time... I want to control Spotify. I have to close out OBS to bring back the Spotify controls. But I think I'm just gonna have to find the plugins that are on the uh, Elgato store for well, the free plugins anyway, and just get all that squared away so that way I'll have better control over all my audio. But in any case, uh, let's see where was that? Right. Okay. So I went to. What was it? I went to that desert town and because we needed to find replacement parts for the gear because I had a bad knee so we tried to get something from the shop there that uh, services and repairs the gears which are the giant mechas that are in this game but we were told that we could not get the part specifically for the model that we use because it's more of a military type rather than just a standard uh, mining type. Because I guess there's uh, different types in that exist in this world. But you know, it's whatever. So we left the town. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to go back to the starting city or not so i was making my way there but i stopped at the halfway point between the desert city and the old city that we came from because if i end up going back to the old city and that's not where we're supposed to go well um, i'm probably just gonna end up uh resetting the game and reloading from there let's see F up, watch the clips. Yeah, no, we don't need to go up. We need to go back. And end the combat. My favorite part of this game. This is just... I don't know, it's just... I just love the way the combat works in this game. Like it reminds, it's it's turn-based, but it still reminds me of... Uh, like fighting games. The way you input combat. Oh, how's that thing still alive? Jeez. Fade is taking a beating. Oh, 
Oh, get on the right hand. Booyah, son. Look at that. Right in the gut. Man, he just, uh, he, he straight up did that, uh, that Kung Pao punch and just <clears throat> right in the gut and just knocked a clean chunk out of him. So you know, I think that's fine. Perfectly fine. Let's see. We need to... It's that one. Something like that. God, I don't remember where I'm going. I just know I have to get out of here. I'm probably going around in circles, too. That's that's the bad part. Yeah. Okay. And I think I may need to actually go up here. Because I... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I gotta go up here because I have to jump across. Back to the southern area. So that's how we got across here in the first place. Trees that we go on. Yeah, here we go. We'll just take this down and then kill this. And now we're, yeah, we're going to... Hopefully, what is the area that I need to be in. Just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have the absolute egg on my face if it turns out I'm not supposed to go here. Was the only downside to uh, RPGs is the random encounters. You, know, you can't really, uh, you can't really stop from happening. Oh, yeah, it's it's whatever. Practice this more. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! I never seen a that much of it. Like before, it was just like a, like a punch and a kick. Yeah, I just, I just bent on the, the old school JRPG kick. But I don't know, I just, like just the other day, like, I know that I have to finish this game and if I'm going to finish this game, I'm going to want to do everything and that's going to take me forever because I don't really get a lot of time to stream. And it's it's most it's mostly the weekends that I'm able to stream and like I'm dedicating my stream time to this game like, specifically. So it's, I just I don't really get a lot of time for that, but the time that I do get Okay, yeah, I wasn't supposed to go here. Like, at all. Amazing. Oh, uh, God, I know, I, I believe it's still... Uh, it's, uh... What was the old reset for PlayStation? It's not it. Well, whatever. It has a button on here, so I'm gonna just push the button. It's gonna do that because it's old technology. Is it just not gonna let me do it? Wow. <laughs> that's, oh, that's actually that's kind of hardcore. I'm gonna have to actually push the power button off and turn it back on. That's crazy. Okay. Well. Um, oh. I love that sound. Like I, I can never get over it. It's just. You know, it just it would have been awesome. Um, oh no, I'm playing this off an OG PlayStation One. So yeah, like every any of any of these old school games that I'm trying to play, like I'm trying to play them as legitly and raw in their original format as possible. Uh, it's probably gonna hang on there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. And do this again because it's yeah well i mean i was pretty lucky to find a copy of this let's see if it's gonna do that uh, i'm over here spending more more time of dealing with technical issues than actually being able to play the game which is hilarious 
Oh man. Let's see. Knock in, open it up. Let it load up again. One with the sun. Like I dude, I, I wish that the PlayStation 5 they would have brought back that sound for it on the startup, but like update it to sound like new age. Because man, I just hmm, I just love I don't know, I guess I guess it's more that it evokes a lot of memories that I had with experiencing all these old school games for the first time. Ah, uh, come on. Do the thing. Man, this is God, this is, uh, like I say it, it wouldn't be one of my streams if I wasn't having to deal with the scuff. Hit that. Okay, the reset actually works this time. Hopefully the game won't actually load up. Yeah, because once I get done with Dino Gears, I'm going to switch back over to Star Ocean 2. Hopefully get that done. They say, uh, but... I got that. I got uh, Chrono Cross to go through. I got Final Fantasy Anthology. It's just... I got a lot of possible content. Okay, so I hit CD player. Yeah, that's fine. Open that up. Yeah, this is like starting all over. Jeez. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see. Pop that out. Close. It'll do that. It'll bring up the menu, or at least it should bring up the menu. Um, again, I I do apologize. It's just I wasn't expecting like this much scuff, but here we are. On once again, you get to hear that sound again. At some point, it'll probably get annoying because you know having to do this so many times. Okay, I did that. Hit the CD player that brings that up. Exit. Pop that open. Put the disc in. I hope this thing didn't isn't starting to go on its last legs because considering it's okay, considering that Xeno Gears came out in '98, PlayStation One is older than that, so that's twenty-five at least. Close to 30 years old. It's a miracle that this thing is even working. Ah, here we go again. Come on. Oh, come on, technology. Stop working against me. You're literally just reading the game like not five minutes ago. Ah, oh, please don't do this to me. Like I got these headphones on, but I can still hear the console trying to read the disc. Well, that's fine. It's you know, it's trying to do its job. I don't blame it because you know. More than thirty, at least more than thirty-year-old technology. So here we go. All right, cool. We're getting the game back up. Oh snap! That we're getting a raid. Yo, Captain Kappa, what is up? Thanks for the raid. How are you doing? Oh my God! Let's go ahead and give you a shout out, Captain Kappa's also. Last playing Xeno Gears over at twitch.tv slash Captain Kappa 04. Let me go ahead and drop you a follow, yo. There we go. Myself, I am doing as well as I possibly can. 
Oh, we're doing the first time playthrough too. Nice. Nice. Well, looks like, uh, well, we got something in common here. So, you know, we're both doing first time playthroughs and like, let's see, I just, okay. How far along are you in the game? I gotta ask. Wow. Right away into the battle. Oh, snap. Okay, well, they can't hit me for that, but. Get that spooky Gumo on his ass. Get him right there. Gut punch, take him out. Oh yeah, okay. Well, if you're if you're uh, on um, if you're close to this too, then yeah, you're definitely uh, farther away. Than you. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks for the thanks for the raid. Thanks for dropping by. We appreciate it. It's just it's, it's nice. It's nice to meet uh, fellow game players. of older content like not that not that i'm knocking like new games it's just i don't see a lot of appreciation for older games and considering how difficult it is to actually get this game in particular It's it's nice to see that people still appreciate the classic, the initial. All right, cool. Again, uh, thanks for stopping by, Pancake. I do appreciate it. Awesome. Five, <laughs> five copies of Sequoia and two. Damn, bro. No, I'm, I'm, be, I'm gonna be honest. I'm feeling a little jealous because I know I know I had a copy of Sukhoi 2. I just can't remember where it is. It wasn't uh, it, it, it wasn't in the storage with all the other ones that I found. So. A little, a little disappointing for me, but if I can find it, I would definitely, definitely going to add that one to my list. Well, yeah, if they ever release it on Steam, but the biggest issue with that is more the publisher, right? Unfortunately, it's uh. That's incidentally why uh, um, the uh, Xeno, I guess, I guess that's what you want to call it, the Xeno Saga. They switched over from Squaresoft to Bandai. How you miss that? It's just, it, it's literally in the ground and you just bring your foot down. How do you miss that? I guess the thing is just immune to being kicked. Alright, I'm gonna punch it to death. I swear, this, this man just straight up did the, uh, um, the, the Three Stooges. He just, like, hmm, poked him in the eye. Oh, nice. Level up. Awesome. Awesome. Though, I have this feeling that I'm probably going to end up, uh, Hitting level cap like way too soon just because of all the random battles that I happen to be getting into. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, so the original village that I came from is not the place that I'm supposed to go. I do have to wonder. Specifically where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay. There we go. 
Game's just gonna straight up and throw me into uh story instance. Yo, this kinda looks like the the desert from his memories. Yes, thank you, my stream element god and dragons. I have said before, I absolutely appreciate the Sand people from reference in those characters, right? I just, I love this combat system. I know there's a, there, there's a, there's a game being developed called, I, if I remember correctly, it's called Sea of Stars. And it takes a lot of inspiration from OG uh, Chrono Trigger. And it's not just, it's not just in, uh, it's not just in, in spirit. But, uh, legit, they have, um, uh, uh, Yasunori Mitsuda, the uh, original composer for the Chrono Trigger, working on the, uh, soundtrack for that game as well. Ha! Sick. Hey! Oh, boy. You don't got stuck. The game is... No, yeah, definitely. Oh, um, Legend of Lagaya. I don't think I've ever played that one before. Mm. Again, this, uh, technology showing its age. And I guess that's, uh, that's just to be expected with, uh, you know, 25 to 30 year old technology. Well, I'm probably older than that. So there's, there's probably going to be some times where uh, the game just freezes up. But again, that's uh, mostly because uh, you know it's, uh, it's an OG PlayStation One, and having to run the, uh, the 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 connection cables from the. I don't know if you're, if you're, well, if any of you are here that are uh, old enough to remember uh, when consoles hooked up with the uh, red, white, and yellow cables, like I had to buy an HD converter for that just to be able to hook it into the capture card. But, oh, dang, another level. Huh. Looks like more, uh, looks like more defensive games and that, but, uh, but yeah, having to uh, convert the the OG technology to a, the the OG um, <clears throat> audio visual into HDMI, uh, I've noticed that it's not it's not just Xeno Gears, but basically anything that I play that has to run through that, it has a little bit of a problem adapting to HD. So sometimes the the game will like freeze. Or it'll just flicker out of existence, and I have to like re-up the connection to it. So or if you know, there's gonna be so depending on how long you stick around, and depending on how long I actually go tonight, because I probably got like another hour left before the short stream. But you might be some stuff happening. It just depends, so like, I don't, I don't imagine that it won't happen. It's like, out of all the times that I've used this, it's usually about half hour into stream. Like it starts going kind of haywire. Uh, this, yeah, this is most. Uh, looks like they're mostly getting defensive level ups. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Really? That's what I'm wondering. I'm just getting into random battles. You know, I should, I should just run. I'll just get out of here. This is a point. Oh, geez, I'm not even paying attention to phase HP levels. I'm over here worrying about all my uh, 
technology issues and oh okay yeah I need to kill Faye because he's like close to being on his deathbed okay let's have a look around There's just desert for miles and miles Try to block the bullet. Can I escape? They're not gonna let me go, are they? Oh, I guess he's uh, does he just straight up want to fight? Okay. Huh. If I can't get away, then yeah, we're just gonna. He gonna get the Oogie Goomba. I didn't want to do this, but they left no choice. He's still alive. Oh man, Saipan has a lot of health. That's, like, that's ridiculous how much health he has. Like, in a way, the combat kind of reminds me of uh, Chrono Cross, where you have to, like, uh, like, you use your weaker attack to build up into stronger attacks. I'm probably not in the right way, am I? I don't know. Okay, well, this is a new... Okay. Maybe I'm going the right way because this is a... Man, he's straight up got a nine right in the gut. Damn, these... These dudes are just... Okay, cool, I'll get more healing items. I'm being attacked is what I'm being. Okay, we got these. This. Am I winning? Um, I'm not entirely sure if I am winning. I seem to be going around in circles, which is uh, it's a little problematic, but I think it has something to do with. The story because yeah, I can't can't go out any further than that oddly enough I'm just uh, blindly wandering around in this desert trying to get away from these sand people yep yeah. at that desert Okay, I think I... Okay, I may not know where to go, but I think I understand what's happening now. I am literally walking around in circles. I believe I am specifically supposed to go somewhere. But because of the way the desert works, I think... This is all, this is all just conjecture. I mean, the most part if i can escape uh, i'm just gonna escape because at this point like i keep farming and experience off these dudes i'm gonna end up being like way too over leveled for stuff i don't know if that's a thing in this game but huh. interesting
Okay, so I can get away that time. Where am I? Like, considering he's. Oh, that's. That's interesting because I did not do anything and it transitioned over. Still. I should heal up the side time as well. Good enough. Yeah, I did not move at all. I just sat there and it still transitioned me into this area, so. Okay, okay, this is. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna look at many guides either. I just wanna be able to do this myself. But I understand this might get annoying because I'm on uh, limited stream time. And I'm sure this is probably not what I wanted to be experiencing for a full hour or two. Well, yeah, it is, it is a desert and you know, things are going to look the same to you. It's just, this is what gets me hurt. Because seeing these guys here, like these are new uh, enemy types. So I feel like if I'm seeing new things, then I'm probably heading the right way. Let's see, where are we going? Where'd we go? Are we gonna fight those guys again or is it just gonna be sand? Oh, sand sharks. Come on, get out of there. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll give it like. Oh. Yeah, I done got lost in the sand again. I don't know, maybe, maybe I give it 10 more minutes because. Okay, that's a lot of uh, scene transition there. Ha! The Uki Gumo. Ha! At the face, juggling. Man, damn. Damn, I get a gut punch. So I do have to wonder if they sourced the movements, or like they, or if they consulted with uh, any martial arts specialists to get the idea for the animations of how that should actually play out. I know, um, like with. With uh, Avatar, the last airbender, uh, if any of you have seen that before, uh, the combat scenes in that show, uh, the movements that the characters do, they literally took um, like video of uh, like martial arts masters that were just kind of doing practice sparring and whatnot, and they just kind of adapted that into the animation. So that way, that way, you know, they they tried to remain as authentic to the martial art as they could, which is the stuff. It's it's stuff like that that is like to me. I like I really appreciate seeing that, those kinds of things in different media, and whether it be video games or uh, TV shows or you know movies, anything like that. It's just it's it's cool to see that they're not just. Making things up off the fly and like. I mean, granted, you know, it is. Uh, it's an RPG world. Yeah, there's gonna be things that couldn't possibly happen in real life. I mean, that's, of course, that's the part of, of it being uh, the fantasy. But the point being is, there's still that element of realism that I enjoy seeing in media doesn't mean let's face it those those sand dudes are carrying like shovels and i don't think anyone would just willingly eat a shovel to the face and be okay with that and i can only imagine that any 
anybody who's gotten through this part is probably laughing at me right now. Just me and my tomfoolery of trying to get through this desert. Leave the desert, yes. I will leave the desert for now. I need to recollect my thoughts. Be kind of amazed. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know. Yeah. Okay, as soon as I can run from this. Okay, I have this feeling that I think, yeah. I'm probably supposed to see if I can get one of those sand buggies, I think. Because, like, why would they make it... Why, why would they make such a... A, a stink about not being able to get the sand buggy like the first time I went into the city but now that I've experienced the perils of the desert I think I need to find that person who was just like yeah no that's the bar yeah, there we go. yeah. yep yep boom 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 there we go Wow, hey, I, I, I knew it. I knew something was up. There's no way that they would send you out into uh, an area like that desert and intentionally drive you around in circles without having some way to tell you that, hey, you're not supposed to do this. You need to go back. Considering that, yeah, the first time that I got into Brazil and they made such a big deal about these uh, sand buggies and being able to cross the desert. Like, that's not, uh, okay. I'm I'm glad I didn't have to look up a guide for that. I just kind of went into it like with my instincts, thinking like, oh, well, maybe uh, yeah. What's up, Sam Buggy? Yes, I do. Take it. Okay, well, what's it gonna cost? Considering it is, uh, it is a JRPG, and it's going to be very story-heavy, so there's going to be a lot of reading. Uh, if you're not into reading, well, um, too bad. That's just how the game is. Uh, myself, I enjoy a good story, and if I have to read to... Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Go ahead. Walk the dog. Okay, well, when you get back, I'm going to want I'm gonna want to know what kind of dog is it. But do, uh, do take care out there walking the dog and all that considering it's well it's 8 p.m here uh i don't know what time it is where you happen to be i just hope that if you're walking the dog that you're able to do so in uh a safe and well just mostly just keeping safe really because if you're if you're in the states i mean the weather has been crazy uh, a lot of places are getting hit with heavy rain and just like cold blast, cold front, it just it's just it's absolute chaos. But yes, uh, do take care, and uh, I hope you make it back and bag your back safely. We're gonna take a dune buggy. Oh well, yeah, so just, uh, I mean, come on, that's just the logical conclusion. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop the doctor. He just, yeah, he, he's already gone. Like, he spent so much time trying to decide whether you should stop him or not, but he just took off. He, he done, 
did not care whether you want to follow him or not. He's, he's gone. He already made up his mind. Okay, so that was, uh, That guy was there before. This guy is... Is this guy new? No, that's Big Joe. Yeah. Or his friend. He done took off. Yeah, I, I don't get it either, Joe. Okay, well, maybe I'll... Okay, he, he's Big Joe. I'm I'm just Joe. This is Big Joe. That's important. Yeah, I mean... I mean, he does have a wife and kids, so... Um, yeah, sure, why not? I don't even know how much how much money I have at this point, but it's whatever. It's only 10. It's not that much. So now, but are you going to say something new? No. He's going to repeat his dialogue. Okay, I mean, yes, it's... Yeah, whether it's a lady friend or not, you know, it's just... Friends are important. And not that one needs to be one's brother's keeper, but if you got friends... Um, you know, look out for them when you can. Hopefully they're looking out for you as well. Especially in these times. Like I said, I'm, no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't expect any of my friends to show up to my streams or to wherever I happen to be, but wherever they are, I do appreciate the fact that even if a lot of time goes in between being able to contact them, that we can still maintain the friendship that we have. Um, see, I could not open this door before. This lady is not letting me through either. Can I open that? Still can't open it. Okay, so... Supposed to go to the bar for a specific reason. I, I can't jump over the bar. Well, I can jump on top of Big Joe, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What is this? Menu. Ledovic beer, ave ale, hop jerky, cheese plate. See, I still, I, I'm still not sure what exactly hob jerky is, but considering the fact that I get it every time, well, not every time, but most of the times when I fight hobgoblins, I just get this, like, this image of the Fae just absolutely mutilating the corpse of a hobgoblin, just skinning it, and, like, making jerky out of its skin. This old is probably gonna say, oh, you gonna tell me something? No? You don't wanna talk? Come on. Conversation? Two, three, or five. You got drinking problems, sir. It's extra warm desert again. Who is time Okay, so the gear that we're running is a Kibla a uh, Kislev unit. And they're at war with the Gebler forces. Hmm. Now I'm kind of wandering and a little worried that I should go out there and search for him. But I'm going to save first because I don't need to be uh, I don't need to be walking around in the desert on my lonesome again, not knowing where to go. I'm get spun around, obviously, or I could just get immediately attacked right off the bat. Sure, that works too. Get out of there. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Please. Good. Homie straight up took a bullet to the shoulder. And he just gets back up like nothing happened. Ooh. 
he just wow. Fifty seven is enough for me. See, like I, I really have to wonder if like that if that actually is the inspiration for those things. Like they're the way they're dressed up, they look like sand people. They're called sandmen for well, obvious legal reasons. They probably couldn't call them sand people. But uh the weapons that they're charging around, they look like gaffy sticks, which are the okay, I'll level up. Um, which are the weapons. Oh set oh nice. Another combo. Inter Ooh. Yo, is that like a south field? So let's go. Okay, now I may, I know, I know what I said that I should. Okay, this is good. Okay, send right through this. I have not mastered Hagan or Hoten yet. Abilities. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. I got healing now. That's that's gonna be very helpful. That's true. Oh yeah, like I know. I said I wasn't gonna. do the thing and get into random battles because that would end up over leveling me and okay yeah I was supposed to come this way good okay, so what they're yep they look pretty uh archaic in comparison but I suppose those might be like heavy duty gears, because considering they were shaking the ground, just jumping around like that. No, this game. There we go. Good. Good. But yeah, considering how how heavy armored they look, and they were shaking the ground as they went by, and it kind of kind of leads me to believe that they're more. Uh, Set for heavy, like heavy armor, heavy artillery type gears compared to the, uh, well, the one that we're working with. So I imagine it's probably going to transition me to a new screen and I'm going to have to. Well, we're not going to have to wait long. It's in the sky. Look up, dude. I mean, you're not going to be able to evade detection from that because you're the only thing in the middle of nothing but sand. What is that? Is that like a UFO? Yeah, it's a dang old UFO. Well, that's... That's crazy. Whatever it is, you better follow it, dude. It's obviously going to lead you to where you need to be. That's like how they jump around, too. It's kind of... that life sand shark I've got a I've got priorities here not lose the sight of them and I probably have lost sight of them already that's not good like I feel like they went I mean I know it's just Complete random battles, but it would just be kind of funny if those are the same two sand sharks from before. And they're literally just chasing me in this desert. Like, I, like, I don't want to fight sand sharks. But she's deliberately forcing me into encounters with me. 
And I should probably heal up. Because, yeah, again. Yes, I have that ability. But. Why do the ability when I can just use a bunch of the healing items I have? God, I'm lost again, aren't I? This is not good. This is not good. Oh boy. Bad. This bad news bears. I don't want to be lost again. Can I get away? Can I get away? No. Yo! This dude just straight up threw a mortar at me. What the heck? And this dude just shrugs it off like it's nothing. Like he didn't get a freaking claymore to the face. Well, can I leave? Done, please? Okay, yeah, I, I need to... These guys are not going to let me go. I need to heal up. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. Yeah, no, I need to heal up. They, they do they just shrug my bullets like like it's nothing? Uh, yeah. Yo, Yo, straight up, he straight up just went and Chuck Norris on him. I won't do that again. That was cool. Oh yeah, uh, uh, uh. Oh. Well, that is Oh so what is well that's a new item. I'm gonna find out what it is anyway, because I need to heal up again. Uh my hubris half uh Oh, okay. The same as this group. Okay. I'm just wandering around here. Did I go to the right place? Looks like it. Otherwise, why do a really important scene transition like that? Is that? Oh no, these are just soldiers. Bomb rush one of them and gank their motorcycles. Here's flying saw. Yeah. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna just like? Oh, well, I was kind of hoping he would like jump up and karate kick him in the face. All right. We're, we're, we're borrowing it without consent from indeterminate amount of time. Ah, sucker, get lost. Go, let's go. The Cloud ain't the only one that can ride motorcycles. Oh man, it's turning night. That poor dude, he got dropped. He, he got, wow. He just straight up took his motorcycle and left him for... That dude is not gonna survive in the desert. Ain't no way that dude's surviving. Whoa! Whoa! What just happened? Oh, that just happened. Oh, that just happened. Oh, boy. Dude, you... How are you gonna run, outrun that? That's just... You're, you're crazy. Military property. You don't... Well, did he? Did he do the thing? Doc Dunn did the thing. He fixed the robot. Nice. Yeah. What's up, Doc? Yeah, of course we don't have time to chat. These dudes want to. Uh, well, who's who's gonna get in the gear? Am I gonna get in the gear? It'll make me go get yeah, get in and make me go berserk. Well call. Like, damn it, Shinji, get in the Ava. 
Alright, cool. We're, we're getting in this again. Alright, alright. Two on one this time. Okay, no. I suppose as I get further along in the game, like, these, the gears that I'm fighting against are probably get a lot stronger because, like, at the most, they're doing 100 damage, but I have, like, nearly 2,000 health. So I'm not really worried, especially because I can dog like that, too. Oh, the gear has combo too. Nice. I guess I just need to actually uh, be quicker on the inputs. Extra, extra AI, uh, like extra arm, or like, like the robot's arm, or like, do they mean like a, like a gun? Or... Well, I'll find out. Pretty sure I will. Yeah, you did it, dude. Nice. What's what? Who's talking to me? Oh, it's you again. This freaking oh man. Oh, I finally get to actually see him now. So he knows me, obviously. Um. I, I'm okay, okay. It, it's probably probably not where the inspiration comes from, but this dude kind of reminds me of Zerum. I don't know if any of you have seen that. But he's got the same thing going on, like the kind of robot face with the, the hat thing with the... Yeah, it's just... It, I mean, if, if you look it up... Uh, actually, why don't I just do this myself, you know, because I'm sitting here. Okay, go ahead and put that. And put that in my chat. So that way you know, we're looking. That's what I'm referring to. It, it really the I'm I'm seeing the inspiration for it and it's just Yeah, I, I don't know. I just like I, I understand that 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 uh, games as a medium, uh, it, it's a good way to use references for things, but not necessarily plagiarize. But yeah, apparently this guy knows me. Are we gonna get a cutscene? Who are you? Yep. Who, who, who killed who? Uh oh, there is no Warren Bossing Say. There is no Warren Bossing Say. It wasn't. Not me. I. He's, he's about to lose it again, isn't he? It's you. Again, it's just the. Uh... Tech technology having issues adapting. Um, I can only imagine that either there was supposed to be a smooth transition between that and that, or the disc just straight up did not play a very important thing that was supposed to happen. But either way, I am still gonna be going through this. Yes, he is the one from Lahan. Yeah, here we go again. Grab. Or grab. He knows me. Okay, from my understanding is that like uh, 
Fay was probably uh, part of a military program to create child soldiers. And I guess he just excelled so much more than any of the other uh, potential children that were there. And now, like, he, he sense, I guess he would sense fled the military and they've been looking for him all this time. Because they want to recruit him to their side. Of course, in order to gain more military power, obviously. Because, I mean, why specifically have this particular gear that he's able to operate to pretty much its maximum potential? Of course, he's the bad guy. Why should he care about the lives of people who are not him? Yep. I see you can even even if he didn't look the way he does, you can always tell who the bad guy is just based on their language. Just you know, and he's always referring to everyday people as wretched vermin. got destroyed with facts and logic. Mother God. Well, again, it wouldn't be a JRPG if you weren't trying to destroy God. That's what father means. Dude, he's just provoking you. Why do you keep getting into it? Like, you know, he's... He literally just told you that he came to that village to provoke you into uh, unlocking your full potential to destroy. And now you're sitting here, listen to him prattle on about things that formerly aren't even true, and he's just trying to get a rise out of you. Is this a new gear? Is that what's... Oh, uh... wait, no, that seems like a natural creature. You gotta admit, though, like that, that visual, it just, it looks pretty awesome. Like this dude in some sick-ass looking armor, sitting atop the shoulder of his, you know, his, his Gundam. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep calling it a Gundam, because that's what it is. You cannot tell me otherwise that it's just, it, it's a mecha, or a gear, or a transformer, or whatever. No, it's just... It's Gundam. They're, they're all Gundam. Doesn't matter. He, and he doesn't even fly. He just floats off casually and coolly. Okay, but you got you got an immediate problem to take care of. Okay? You got to beat up this beat up the sandworm. It looks like a cornucopia. Okay, so that... Now just like... Okay, it didn't do any damage, but it's taking my fuel, so that's... that's bad. It's bad. 
is doing it twice. Oh, oh, okay. That okay, now this is now this is gonna be done with that. This is gonna keep doing that. Hmm. Okay, so there's, there's, there's obviously other options that I'm not looking at. Eat the machine. No, I don't need to do that. Sorry. Oh, is this... No, he's not, he's not doing damage, but I need to charge up. Because I need to regain the fuel. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, he's actually starting to do damage. Back again. He's not, he's not doing anything, what are you? Uh, hmm. Okay, this is the big attack? Because, yeah, this is actually starting to get this is, what, this is what I was saying. Like, I wasn't sure if this was going to become a problem or not, because I figured it would become a problem soon enough. Well, I was thinking future, but not this soon. I guess so, yeah. Seems to be the only thing that worked because my regular attacks weren't doing anything to it. But I don't have that much. that actually changes anything about how it gets death, but I mean, I think, man, man, this thing to death. Although I don't know how a uh, potion is supposed to help with this, but if I die here, well, it's going to be a lot of dialogue to have to go through again. Let's shoot it in the sack. I mean, don't command me after the gut things that work with Goku all the time, so I don't see why it wouldn't work here. Yep, there we go. Bam. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I, I have to start thinking more strategically. Good at boss fight. Eyeball. That thing didn't even look like it had eyes. How do I get an eyeball out of it? Does it just have like an eyeball in the stomach or something? Or... That was crazy. Dude, 
down. Damn. Well, see, now I don't even remember if, if, um, if sandworms were a thing in Star Wars. I know there's the, uh, I know there's the Sarlacc pit, which, uh, technically does not constitute being a worm. But, yeah, he's fine. Broken again? I mean, yeah. Yeah, we got through. Okay, well, that explains it. I thought it was going to be like, well, the doctor goes out of his way to find the parts for it, to fix it up. And sure, you know, thankful to we'll still be alive. But he just got it fixed. And he done broke it. Like, like that'd be kind of rude. Yo, look. Dude just, yeah, these dude just came up out of nowhere. Chill, yeah. I mean... Yo, are you okay, dude? You freaking out again? Are we gonna get a cutscene? Uh, no, it's just gonna be end game at least. We don't we don't get the full on anime. It's kind of a uh, Kind of a strange transition there, if that means that they were supposed to help us. Uh, considering that those are, uh, well, those are obviously uh, Abe gears. And I'm going to imagine that the dude that was threatening us was uh, Kislev. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we do get our animo. Well, that's kind of scuffed, but. I mean, what can you really expect from the 25-year-old game? Yeah, no, this is... Let us jump together. Okay, I know he's a bad guy, but... Oh no, lost audio. Ah, oh, that sucks. This jank, they're... They're, they're, they're expositioning dialogue and I can't hear it. Uh, I have to wonder if... Do I do this? Activate. Activate again. Is that the problem? No, that is not the problem. The problem is it's a 25-year-old game. And my audio is cut out. Oh, man, that's... And this probably sounds so cool, too, and I don't get to hear it. There's the uh, person that he uh, unalived. Oh, here we go again. Homie's getting the homie's getting the bossing say. Man, I I wish I could hear the audio. But again, twenty five year old game. It's gonna be a little jank. Like okay, Must now he talks. This is this is so scuff. Oh my god. Let you have him. Still, I'm a brief view too that we're even getting this. Me. So there's that much at least. Okay, so I actually did not waste the time that was given to me. Yeah, other than uh going in circles in the desert for about 10 minutes, but at least I didn't spend like half an hour doing that and then having to resort to a guide, which ultimately I think that's the better part of my experience with this is that I am going in completely blind. The only things that I do know about this, uh, they're more, uh, they're more from a character study rather than uh, anything that spoiled the game. So just Knowing what I know about Faye, the type of character he is, it, it's given me a, a little... I have, I have a little bit more background about him. 
than I would have going in completely blind. But I'm, I'm still considering it blind because I've not played the game. I've not looked into anything about the gameplay itself, which was why I was so surprised when the combat system came up. And like I'm saying, so far, um, yes, I just, I really wish we would have been able to get, gotten the audio off of that from, because that was a really, really cool cutscene. And I'm sure that the Gundam just sounded like so awesome how it's like it's like shoulder things open up and like turned into wings and it just like well let's just, oh my god that just they look so off I me mean, considering yeah again it's a 25 year old game imagine uh 25 years ago being able to see that for the first time oh my god that would just completely just blown my balls off holy crap that was but it would have been so good and it w probably wouldn't have been scuffed either. I would have been able to actually uh, watch it with full audio and everything. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I can't really do much about it because, you know, old technology. But I'm, I'm not going to sit here and make it pieces. It, it's just that's how it's going to be. But still, the fact that anything even played at all was you know, probably nothing short of a miracle. And I'm just happy that I'm able to experience this game. So, yeah, that was a little, a little bit of a rant, but I'm just, I'm, I'm glad that I did not waste half an hour going through circles in that desert and having to ultimately give up and look toward the guide. Cause I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to look at any guides. I don't want to be spoiled with what I'm supposed to do with this game. And also, uh, in my previous streams of this, uh, some people have. Uh, chimed in with helpful tips that didn't necessarily ruin the game. It's just more that I was uh, okay. Okay, it, it, it was not metaphorically that was literally stuck in a certain part in the starting in the starting town, and somebody gave me the uh, the the hint that you can actually jump in this game, and. You know, instead of uh, sitting there for 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get unstuck, and it's like, no, you just, you can jump. Like, oh, <laughs> well, there we go. I just jumped and got out of the situation. So, like, you know, if 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 you have any, like, little helpful tips like that, I don't mind. But, uh, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to backseat and start spoiling things like that, that, unfortunately, I do not appreciate. So, please, uh... Uh, no absolute backseating, but if you have like just generic helpful tips, I do I do appreciate that though. Okay, so okay, so his so his gear is an experimental one from Kislev, and the people of Ive were trying to get a hold of it. First they figured because that's probably. What they thought would probably change the tides of war, considering that. Uh, da, da, was it? See now I'm kind of forgetting the story beats, but I think it. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's if it's the the Ave, Ave forces that ended up getting the uh, help from the Gebler to take on Kislev, or if it was the other way around. It's like that. I don't want to remember that it's the other way around and because I mean why go after this experimental gear that was from the Kislev forces if you're already being supported by the Gebler forces which are basically the same thing it's like you, do, you don't need this upgraded technology when the people that are helping you in your war are basically already supplying you with the same thing it just wouldn't really make sense like that but you know it, I'm sure I'm probably wrong, but it's, it's whatever. Okay, that much we know. He deliberately provoked you into going berserk and getting into the gear. I'm okay. I'm going to go ahead and save. Considering 
Islands. Well, I've been here for an hour and a half. Uh, I actually feel like I made uh, quite a bit of progress there. But I'm going to go ahead and take a break. Uh, probably be gone in maybe like five minutes max. And put on the music. And we're going to go ahead and shift to my BRB screen because the technology works. Because I can do that. And again, enjoy the music there while it's going. And I will be back and shortly. Stick around to hopefully see more gameplay. If not, well, we'll just figure it out when we get to it. Anyway, I'll be right back.
All right, all right. Let's get back to it. Let's see, hope you uh, hope you all had some time to you know get up, move around, get something to drink. Well, hopefully water. Um, but again, I'm not gonna not make any judgments on anybody about what you like to drink. I just hope that wherever you are, you're staying safe and you're healthy. Yeah, he tried to. He basically, you know, that's probably what the missing dialogue in that cutscene was. But uh, yeah, it's probably just like the exposition and explanation. To confirm that what the guy was saying was true. Oh, that's what happened. We're prisoners. Okay. No, let's talk more. Okay, that much. that much at least no that is he gonna repeat like I say he's like a I like guess as, as far as I know um, Bay is basically like a, a child of okay I keep saying child of war but that's not the correct terminology um, he was a child soldier He's not gonna talk anymore, so I guess we rest now. Had enough exposition. We're approaching the time of the gospel. Yes. Oh, see, that's, that's the. Whoa. I mean, I know that's probably a mask. I don't think they would deliberately create a character that whose face is literally just skin pulled over a skull. But again, this is this game. And considering that I just bought a bagpipe that was part dragon, well, it's not too hard to believe that this person would actually you just straight up look like that. Oh, okay. So this is kind of like a Adam and Eve thing. But yes, there's going to be a lot of uh, a, lo a lot of heavily religious influence in this game. Again, that's why I uh, uh, that's why I titled the stream uh, what it is because that that much I do know about the game is that uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of lot of religious iconography and references and whatnot. It's the end, the end, we're all doomed. Yes, it's the end because this child is about to bring about the absolute Armageddon. Whoa. Hey, here we go. What's Yo, somebody's trying to shoot his dad. Oh. Yep. Gonna look here. Look here. What have we here? They done stole the robot. Everyone is after it, huh? And only one person can pilot it to its maximum capability. Shakan, Shakakan. Oh, oh, periscope. 
seem to be a thing with them. Oh, okay. The... Oh, okay. No, I thought they were, like, underwater. No, they're <laughs> under the desert. So, they're, they're straight up going Final Fantasy VI on us. They're, they're, figu they're figuring their way up to the surface through the desert, literally. Scene. Please tell me we're gonna get a cutscene. Ah oh, man, no cutscene. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm Sand cruiser, huh? They're, they're desert pirates. No, they're not pirates. They're pirates. Shit, bro. This has all been calculated. Do you have the means to escape? You can just just popped off too. What happens? Anton and Belta, they're just. Give them a spanking, they won't forget. That's uh... Quite the use of language there. Damn it, let me handle this! Stop telling me what to do, Dad! Are you... Are you sh it's gonna be like John Cena and like... He's over here making all these uh, decisions, like do this, do that, and Spina's just gonna pop up. Like, are you sure about that? Oh, we're tilting. But that will, yep. I think within minutes. Now, how do you s like? Is it quicksand? Like you're you're literally like in a sand cruiser yourselves. You're 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 literally floating off of the ground. The only sinking you would do is just like to to hit the ground very hard. And maybe you dig in a little bit, but I don't see how you would sink unless it's like quicksand or something. But I suppose this is for a uh, case of narrative. Uh, let's get here, Doc. Uh, no. What are we? What are we doing? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's... Ah, I see. 
I thought that was the ground. No, that's 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 straight up sand. Okay, that's that's interesting. Uh, I have to imagine that this might be time. It's barely coming up to the waist. I don't see it going over the heads. But maybe items. And I don't want to lose that items. If I Oh no, it's getting higher. It's getting higher. Oh, no. Oh. oh, please get the item. Can I get it? Survival trip. Oh, oh no, we gotta go. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. Come on, get to the door. Oh god, no, no. No. Oh, this is, this is, ah, uh, this is, this is, go, 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 go. Ah, uh, oh, let's go, go, come on. Ah, uh, go, 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 go. Go, no, 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 no. Please tell me I got up. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. I was so close. Uh, damn me in my inquisitive nature. I just, I, I have to know. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Does not sound good. Up. Around. Is there treasures? Treasures to behold? Yes, there is. I'm going to be assaulted by something. Is it soldiers? Pirates? That is a... Uh, um, that's a lot of soldiers. The sweet time. Mm -hmm. Chuck this dude. Oh, just, oh, just a. Ooh. That's not good. I mean, I don't think running would be, uh. Dude. Oh, oh. Wow. That looked kinda cool. I mean for a simple healing ability. Just pop, pop, get him fast. We gotta do this quick. I have to wonder if uh, sand is actually filling up the second interior area. Oh, I can do five attacks now. Nice. Good. Good. All down. Okay. Uh, okay. How much is it? Um, yeah, phase is definitely up over this level. Other vest. Oh, I don't... No, I haven't got there yet. Just as that ladder there. I don't know what it'll do, but I have to know. What is up here? Why? Oh, what happened? Something exploded? Oh no, he's all over the other side. Um, is there treasure? I don't know. Yes, there is. Yes, there is treasure. See? And if I had not been inquisitive and want to explore, I would not have found that. Give him the oofy goo mode. Okay, yeah. Ah, okay, because I ran out of oh, AP, that's Yeah. I felt kind of bad because it's like they probably have like a wife and kids or something. He 
other than trying to make it out on the zone. I mean, what else are you supposed to do in the middle of the desert? But I mean, he could he could have a wife and kids. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's a little bit of both. Offense and defense is what I look uh, for Saitan, but looks like uh, defenses are up. I need to learn Renki. Um, maybe it's a healing ability for Saitan? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Ooh. Extra AR plus one. Oh, I got all these new items. I don't know what they are. But I'm going to find out. Okay, so then what? Um, martial air. Oh, that's obviously the fencing where it is not for him, but another rest gives us plus eight defense. So, uh, that's cool. And I want to keep my power ring cool with that. But I did get these new items. So I want to this possible one to be here. No. I guess I got some, some rare items I can sell, at least. But I have to... I kind of want to imagine that, uh, despite the fact that the game is telling me that these items can sell for a high price, that they're probably going to be useful for... Uh, equipment. For making stuff. Okay, well, I can't access the gear because obviously I'm not in the robot. There's nothing else here. And I, uh, no, I still don't know that. What is, what is. Okay, so I'm getting whatever these items are called the uh, yeah, AR, maybe extra arm or something. I want to believe that it has something to do with the gear and not my characters. So, uh, I'm just gonna go on the assumption that that's what it's referring to. Let's see here. Yeah, basically came over here to get that one very chest. Now can I get back across? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, cool. Nice. Now we can escape. Oh, but uh, what happened? Did I just like fall through? Oh, yes, I did. Ah, yeah. Jump. Again, I keep forgetting this game has jump options. I'm, I'm so used to the regular JRPGs that don't have the ability to jump. Ah, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely. Can you jump? Jump. There you go. Jump. And there's one here. One rod. I don't know if that was where the original treasure was. There we go. Let's go up. Alright, then this one to the third area. It's catching up with us. It is catching up with us. Uh, jump up. Maybe if I... Okay, yeah, no. Cannot, cannot jump up it from that angle. But there is a... Oh, there's a save point. There is a save point. Can I save now? Can I save? Well, obviously. Yeah, it's letting me... So. Yeah, it's directing me to the file option. So, yes. And because the sound... The sound in this game is amazing. Like I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the pressure to get through because the the music is putting me on edge. Uh, but um, wreck these dudes. Well, now we can do five. Let's go with Chuck Norris, run out kicks. Eat it, boys. Booyah. 
And he really likes to end his combos with that sucker punch of the dead. Okay, so I hear it. Got that. Bro just... Bro just shrugged again. But I don't... I, I don't get it. How, how's the dude just shrugging off bullets? Like, that's, that's crazy to me. different combo input probably to to inadvertently learn new attacks and whatnot but yeah um i'm actually getting close to the point where i have to be heading off now so i'm gonna go ahead and save here even though i saved like three minutes ago but anyway uh, yeah we are going to probably uh end here for now again I do i want to thank everybody for joining for you know joining in tonight uh thank you well again let me go through my uh, again thank you again uh captain kappa 04 for the raid i certainly appreciate it uh you know we're, we're both going through xeno gears for the first time and it's just it's nice to be able to beat more uh more people that are experiencing the game the first time as well and just being able to share in a love for things with other people and to be able to share my experiences with of this game and my love of gaming in general with you all is just honestly that's 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 why i do this like there's i i want to be able to bring new experiences not just for me but for you as well and i hope that you're you're thoroughly entertained and hoping that my mic is not muted because again uh, i'm still working through with a lot of technology issues so. but so far it seems to actually have been working pretty well uh, despite the stuff and the things that i'm going to have to eventually fix with this because i mean yeah, if i'm going to spend technology if i'm going to spend money on getting new technology i'm going to utilize it you know i'm not going to just sit here and not figure out how to do it because it's it's complicated no like that the kind of money that i'm spending like i i need to take advantage of the capabilities of everything but anyway um again again shout out to uh my buddy pancake sona as well for dropping in i mean again if you're well, almost let me do it again as soon as I learn how to access the actual chat. Again, this is a shout out from my buddy Pancake Sona again. If you're following along in the chat and you're not following him, well, I would definitely recommend giving him a follow. Check him out. This is an Overwatch streamer, but he does play other games too. Like I said yesterday we were just chilling out. Um, he was playing Resident Evil 2, the remake. And we're just having a good time, just, you know, shooting the breeze, just kind of trying to alleviate a little bit of the tension because it, it can be a scary game at times, but, you know, it's ultimately we're just there to have a good time. Again, if you, if you enjoy, if you, if you really enjoy entertainment, you like, uh, you like comedy, well, or sometimes unintentional comedy, but just uh, overall having a really positive time, I would definitely recommend Go ahead and give my boy a follow and check them out sometime but anyway uh, again well i'm uh i'll probably be back tomorrow uh, continuing xeno gears uh I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably uh probably start like midday probably go for a little bit longer because like i said i don't don't really have a, a lot of time to stream tonight because i got some personal responsibilities that i need to take care of pretty soon here but in the meantime, yeah, uh, probably I'll probably do it mid midday and do like a really long stream of this tomorrow just to progress further along. But anyway, I, I appreciate the raids, the follows, just everybody being here again. Thank you so much for tuning in, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. If not, that's fine. You know, life. Y'all got things to do, places places to be. You know, just, you know life. Life happens. But in any case. Again, thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you 
tomorrow. Y'all have a good night, good day, where you have to be, because again, the world does not run on one time zone. So, wherever you are, stay safe, healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.